Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Algebraic expressions, Terms, Like and Unlike terms, Factors, Coefficients, Types of expressions wherein we will discuss monomial, binomial, trinomial and polynomial, Addition and subtraction of expression, Multiplication of expressions and identities. Let us look at some real life example to get an idea about what are algebraic expressions and why do we need them. Let's say that you have some number of chocolates. Now we do not know exactly how many chocolates do you have but you have some number of chocolates. And let's say that your little brother has two less than yours. That means he also has some number of chocolates and all we know is the number of chocolates with your little brother is two less than what you have. So how would you express this fact mathematically? So you can definitely say, I mean, write it in English that my little brother has chocolates too less than that of me. But how do you express it mathematically? So how do we write it mathematically? Okay, now here we do not know the real number of chocolates for either for you or for your little brother. So what we do is we say that, okay, so let's assume that you have X number of chocolates. So we have just assumed that. Then how many chocolates your little brother has? So your little brother has X minus 2 number of chocolates. So what is this X minus 2? This is nothing but an algebraic expression. Here X is a variable. Now X can take up any value. So we do not know how many chocolates you or your brother had. Therefore, we made use of this variable X. So we said that, okay, let's assume that you have X. So your brother will have X minus 2. That is 2 less than X. Let's think of another example. Let's say that whatever you scored in your exam, your friend scored twice than that of you. Let's say B is you and A is your friend. So B scored twice. So A scored twice that of B. So how would you express this mathematically? So this means that let's say if B has scored X, then A would have scored 2x, that is 2 into x. So this 2x again is nothing but an algebraic expression. Now did you get any idea about what are algebraic expressions? Yes, these are those expressions which may have constants like 2, it, it can have uh, different mathematical operators like plus, minus, division, multiplication, etc. It can also include variables like x. And all of these together make an algebraic expression. So what is an algebraic expression? A mathematical phrase with constants, variables and operators. That's interesting. Like how we have phrases in English, in mathematics also we have phrase because not every time it is very convenient to write sentences after sentences to ex express facts. So we need these expressions which in brief would be able to convey the same information. Perfect. Now, what are these things? Constants. Well, constants are those values whose value would always remain the same. So let me give you some examples. Let's say 1, 2. So what are these? These are numbers. These are constants because 1 will always remain 1. 2 will always remain 2. It has a fixed value. 3 by 2 again is a constant. It, it would remain same. 5.6 is again a decimal number but at the same time it's a constant. You think of minus 1560. That's a constant. So these are all examples of values whose which remain the same throughout. Doesn't matter where they exist, in which expression they exist, their value will still remain the same. So they are constants. Next is variables. So variables are those values whose value keep changing depending on where they are. For example, x, y, z, p, q, r, a, b, c. So generally we denote variables with alphabets. Now, what do we mean by they keep changing their values? Now let's take example of some expression. For example, x plus 4 is an expression. What is 4? The value of 4 would always remain constant. 4 will always mean 4. But what about x? Now the value of x could be 1. So if x is equal to 1, then the value of this expression would be 1 plus 4, that is 5. The value of x could be 2. And if x is 2, the value of this expression will be 2 plus 4, that is 6. 
value of x could be 0. So if x is 0, then the expression's value would be 0 plus 4, that is 4. So x can take multiple values. So therefore, x is a variable. And what else does this expression contain? It contains operators like plus, minus, multiply, divide. So these are all operators. So when you look at this expression x plus 4, it has variable which is x, it has a constant 4 and it also has an operator plus. So let's look at some more examples. 3x minus 9 by 2. Is this an expression? Yes, it has constants, it has variables, it also has operators like divided by, like minus. So these are expressions. 10x. What do you think about this? Is this an expression? Yes, because this is also a combination of constants and variables. Now, one important thing to be noted here is, now when I say that an expression should contain constants, variables and operators, it is not mandatory that an expression must contain all of these. So if you have something like this, x. So is this an expression? It doesn't have uh, any operator as such, it doesn't have any constant as such, but do you think this is an expression? Yes, this is an expression because x is what? x is nothing but 1x, that is 1 into x. So 1 is a constant, into is multiply, which is an operator, and x is a variable. So basically, doesn't do not just focus on the look of the expression. So any expression which has, even if it doesn't evidently have a constant or an operator, but it is still an expression. So if you think of something like this, say 250, right? Or you think of 200y plus 10. So what are these? These are also expressions because they have constants, variables, operators. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.